shall we? Where would you like to do? Okay, so the first setup is to uh, make that crack on the seafloor parallel with the back plate and then land as low as possible. Land. Uh, parallel with the back plate too, gotcha. Good morning to the viewers in Rhode Island who have just joined us. You're Ar just in time to see us arrive Ar at Ferry Mega Plume. Uh, the bubbles escaping from the seabed here are actually, well, they're estimated to be predominantly methane or methane. Um, and they are what's known as a hydrocarbon. Methane or methane, um, as you may or may not know, is considered to be a greenhouse gas which contributes to global warming. So part of the research that we uh, that is being done here will help to just dialing in my assess the volume of methane. Bias. These bubbles that are coming up from the ocean floor, they're primarily methane bubbles, but you can see by the darker imaging there that there's oil mixed in with them. They're uh, coming up from a reservoir that's probably thousands of feet below the ocean floor. Um, the bubbles are solid, which we call hydrate, and that has to do with both the uh, pressure at this depth and the temperature in which makes them solid. And do they so get more bubbly smooth. when they get to the top? Do they expand and get full of... Yeah, and that's one of the things I was talking about in uh, Boyle's Law is that it, the, as the these bubbles started. reach towards the surface, they expand. And then they're full of air like regular bubble? Well, a, as they move up through the surface, yeah, well, well they're, yeah, they're frozen, hydrate. A, as so they the, move up the, through the surface and the pressure goes down, the temperature goes up, yes. they, they, t they thaw and the gas, tends, the gas will escape. The methane will escape and then the eth ethane and then the propane. Now these bubbles are completely different. Yep, there's no oil on this one. But do they have that crusty, icy outer Yeah, shell? they're smaller, so they, they do. So these are like little tiny round ice cubes? More of an ice cube coating on a gas bubble. There we uh, go. There okay. you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Kayla, we're currently at a depth of about 1,180 meters, which is just shy of 4,000 feet. Can I zoom feet. in real quick? Her. It is down. Yeah. yeah. I just want to see if I can get those bubbles a little better. So this is the intake nozzle of one of our samplers, the super sampler. And um, there's a pump at the back end, and we're going to start uh, uh, drawing water through this tube and into a bottle in the back, a two-liter bottle. We'll pump about 14 liters to make sure it's well flushed, and we'll take two of those bottles here. So right now I'm going to purge the intake line, so I'm going to start the sampler now. Uh, the reason for this white board is to allow for a better contrast so they can get sharper images of the bubbles as they come on by. And what they're doing here uh, is... Stop just short. Uh, the purpose of this is twofold. And one is that they can measure the size of the bubbles and also they can measure the flow rate of the plume by counting the number of bubbles that go by.